I Chuku from Splice and Post, and I have a very quick um, color grading tip. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do group grading and assimilate scratch. All right, so let's just get started. I'm going to be using uh, clips from the motion picture See Through Me, which was filmed in location in Uganda. Okay, and I'm going to basically select um, a couple of shots, uh, maybe from here. All right. Basically, the way group grading works is uh, like example for the scene here. It was um, shot beautifully well lit under the hot Ugandan sun, and a couple of shots down have the kind of same lighting setup, exposure, and everything. So I wouldn't want to just go clip after clip trying to grade it. You know, I could just um, group them together and just grade them. So that is exactly what group grading is okay so let me go back to my construct and to do this I'll have to set up um, a reference tray to group the clips together okay so I'm just gonna um, click on this um, triangular button here and say no and I'm just gonna name this group okay and I'm just gonna select a couple of shots to group together so let's just say these are uh, four here all right holding down control I'll just you know um, just lasso over them and I'll just drag that and say add reference and that is added okay so I'm gonna go back into my um, player okay and when I'll see that I have that um, tray and I have these group shots okay so I'm not gonna waste a lot of your time uh, it's just very simple what I would do is I'm just gonna go into my matrix and I'm just gonna apply a very quick something very extreme okay um, the first thing I'm gonna do is basically I'm going to do some you know quick um, contrast work so basically just um, expanding the tonal range and just uh, making sure that it's nice and contrasty nothing too special okay and as you can see this is um, in my way here so I'll just try and bring it down here and all I'm doing is just trying to expand uh, the tonal range and making sure that um, you know everything is nice and contrasty as I said nothing special okay and once this is done I'm just gonna go extreme and I'll just say you know what just push some warmth into the shadows and I'll just close that okay now I'm gonna go back into my GRP tray okay and I see this is um, already graded so to just carry that to the rest of the grade down here or to the rest of the clips down I'll come to the right now see I'll see this uh, trim clip colors I'll click on it, it will ask me if I want to do it, I say yes, and applies it to the next ones. So uh, right now if I just go back to the next clips here, everything is applied to it. Okay, I could at any time go in any of them and make a change. So let's just say I could just click on this and I'll say, you know what, let me back off a little bit of the shadows. Or let me just change my mind. I'm just going to put, you know, a little bit of coolness right there. Okay, and I could just get back out. To the group and once that is done I'll say trim colors again and once again it applies the changes that I make to everything okay so this is a very quick way to basically group um, scenes together so that you can apply a very quick grid to them in a similar scratch thanks for watching